Bernie's Rock Shop started in 1962. It was in a little cubby hole in the basement of the Brook Street Y. He started it more as a hobby, and it's turned into a full-fledged business. Over time, a father's love of stones was passed on to a new generation. Dad showed me how to hold on to the stone and grind it and shape it. Nevin took it over in late 1999 from his dad and continued the family legacy. A legacy of sharing the beauty of the natural world. Our dedication here is to find items that allow people to reflect on nature. Nevin's wife helps people connect to the stones by turning them into wearable art. If you cherish and you respect nature, it brings a deeper and more profound meaning to your life. That's why Bernie's Rock Shop has always been interested in protecting the environment. That was instilled in me. Bernie was born in the 1930s, and back then people did reuse rather than recycle. Growing up in India, we were taught recycling means reusing. They kept that in mind when Bernie's expanded. When we wanted to open up the store, we tried to recycle a lot of the cases from other stores. We really wanted to go green in every possible way. We tried to use a lot of energy efficient lighting like PAR 30 bulbs, LED lighting. They were able to make lighting efficient and beautiful. Lighting is so key with jewelry. Most of the cases use just like a watt and a half of light, which is amazing. And that lighting is powered by the wind and sun because they choose to buy green power from MG&E. I had a real strong interest in sustainable and renewable energy sources for many years. That's something that we have to all be thoughtful of and cognizant of in order to improve our children's future. A big vision passed on by a man who loved little pieces of the natural world. It's not just another product that you're selling to a customer, it's a story, it's a legacy that might get passed down to someone.